my name is Kyle Cassidy. I'm doing a book called Armed America, Portraits of Gun Owners in Their Homes. <coughs> I'm Philip, I'm part of armedamerica.org, and uh, we're about to go do a portrait session with one of the people who's going to be in the book. In 2004, I heard that half of Americans owned guns, and I wondered why. It seemed uh, like an interesting project to drive across America, meet gun owners, and ask them. Hi, how are you? I'm Kyle. I decided early on that I wasn't going to turn down anyone who was willing to be in the book I could physically get to. So there was no editorializing on my part as to who was going to be in and who was going to be not in and what positions were going to be represented. The people that I've talked to who have been eager to be a part of it have a story that they want to tell. They don't think that, uh, that their point of view is represented necessarily. Um, they think that the media doesn't portray them when they talk about gun owners. I've, I've heard that from a lot of people. Um, I also get a lot of people who are very proud of their collections and some of them have been collecting for years and they really just want to show off their guns. Of all the people that we photographed, I think my favorite was Avery. He lived in, a, in an apartment that he uh, described as a bunker. You want to try sitting in your command bunker? Sure. You want me to... Just, think, just leave everything there. Leave everything there for the meantime? Stretch it out. He covered every square inch of the room with something. There was a sticker or a poster or a note. And it was so intricate that I could have spent hours in there just looking at the, the minutia on the wall. There and there. I had a really good time on, on that shoot. Gun owners are everyday people. There's a lot of people who assume that because you own guns, you're uh, more of a violent person. I, I don't believe that. Uh, I, I, I like the idea of your book because it, uh, it shows a good cross-section of real people. OK, fantastic. It'll be great to meet you. Thank you, Mark. Right. Bye. All right, Mark, 7 o'clock. He's cool with everything. He sounds like a really nice guy. Yeah. Lori and I are both hunters. Um, we're both competition shooters. And uh, we both shoot just for the fun of it as well. I got lucky because I have a wife that's enthusiastic about it. And uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't be a happier guy. Uh, I, mean, I feel sorry for the guys that don't have wives <laughs> that enjoy it. Mark and Lori were another really interesting subject. They were a, a couple from Portland who just seemed like really nice, fun people. And I never would have guessed if I saw them on the street that their personal hobby was collecting machine guns. They're all different. Yeah, very much so. And that's why we like having different kinds of every kind. Yeah. For me, a big part of owning guns is it's a reflection of what I consider freedom in, in our country. I think the Second Amendment is kind of the reset button of the Constitution. And when the others start to fail, then it's time to look to it to, for um, redress. The United States is pretty big. And I think it's, I don't know, it's a lot of ambition getting the whole thing, but at the same time it's a little bit of, um, not quite knowing how big the country is until you actually drive across it. What I want this book to be is to be told entirely by the people who own them. So there's uh, no political introduction, there's no slant one way or the other. Hello. Hi. Diego? Yes. Kyle? This is Bill? Hello. Nice to meet you. Come on inside. At this point, it's sort of unclear why I have a gun. I don't really know. It's, it feels like a piece of property that I just kind of ended up having. It was like a, a period in my life when I was more interested in my rights, you know? I was like, oh, I can vote, and I can register for the draft, and smoke cigarettes, and I, look, I can buy guns. And so I just kind of ended up buying guns. 
I've had a lot of anti-gun people look at the book and say, wow, these people look like idiots. How are you convincing them to do this? And then the same pictures uh, pro-gun people will look at and say, this is really great. This is you know, wonderful that you know, you're showing this. I understand what the statistics are about guns in, in America specifically, and um, you know I believe in nonviolence, and you know it's a, it's, it, there is a certain amount of shame that you have with owning guns. You know you like you don't necessarily want to admit it. America is a lot bigger than I thought. Uh, it, it takes longer to get from one place to another, and people are different in different parts of the country. Uh, some places are, are almost like their own isolated countries and I've met people who I never ever would have met and been exposed to ideas that I wouldn't have been exposed to otherwise. This isn't a book about guns, it's a book about people. My goal is that people with differing political views about this topic will be able to stand in an art gallery together and look at the same piece and have a conversation about it. Thank you.